Oshlange means where all nations come together. A dream the founder and the first president of the ANC, John Langalibalele Dube, believed in. During apartheid, he erected the Oshlange Institute, a school that concentrated on education, skill development, and promoting independence amongst black students. From the school's chapel, Dube preached for over 40 years of the day when freedom would eventually come. And it did. Former President Nelson Mandela casted his first vote during the general elections 27 years ago at the school. It was also home to the first Isizulu newspaper in Langalase Natal, which Dube helped found. Dube's grave site also lies here, at the historical building. The provincial government and the family of the ANC founder visited the grave site to lay a wreath, also to reflect on the role played by the philosopher, educator, politician, and publisher in fighting colonialism and apartheid. Without the unity, nothing can be achieved. And again, uh, at organizational level, uh, we are glad that there's a, a great groundwork that's being done. Dube, like Charlotte Matlege, were two leaders who had many things in common in terms of equal rights for all. Following on the footstep, footsteps of Mama Charlotte Matlege and the footstep of Ubaba Uchon Langalibalele Dube, education must be fashionable, education must be supported. Dube was successful in his endeavors to contribute to the political and social economic development of black people in Natal. He fought against the injustices perpetrated against them and tried to promote equality throughout his lifetime. Nondi Khatem, SAPC News, Inanda.